Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond's Donders. This is what's behind us, the Glock Scarderoy. It's a lovely spot, and that's just a view that nobody probably ever shows you. Scardroy Estate forms part of the extensive Strathconan Estate and extends to nearly 83,000 acres. It is situated in central Russia in the highlands of Scotland and the estate offers a beautiful and varied terrain from open rolling country to a mountainous landscape. The area includes the estates Strathconan, Scardroy and Lejowen. The estate covers large parts of three deep glacial glens, Meg, Bran and Orin, which are deep and narrow valleys running west to east. The large proportion of the high ground is over 1,000 feet and with the high moor more than 30,000 feet above, sorry, 3,000 feet above sea level. Strathconan is the longest glen in Scotland, stretching for more than 20 miles. Loch Scardroy is a natural loch lying at the top of the River Meg Valley, approximately eight and a half miles beyond Loch Meg. It lies at an elevation of 145 metres above sea level and is approximately 2.75 kilometres in length. It is up to 500 metres wide and has a total area of 101 hectares. The loch reaches depths in excess of 50 metres, so the best boat fishing is to be expected along the margins and in the shallower bays at both ends of the loch. In addition to wild brown trout, Scardroy also contains arctic char, so there are also ferox trout present.
A memorial cairn was built as part of Scotland's Rural Pass project. It is located close to the lodge at the head of Loch Scardroy. It is a mortar bonded stone column, circular in plan, and is situated on the crest of a prominent grassy knoll. At the west end of the loch, it is two metres in height and castellation appears on the tapered top. Diameter at the top of the column is one metre and at the bottom 1.5 metres. There are three plaques recessed into the east, north and south sides. And under a small badge of arm and arm with fist clenching a broken lance, there is an inscription John Frederick Boyce Coombe, CBD, Major General Colonel. Zars RS PAO, 12th of July, 1967. The smaller plaques are 3.5 square with the S1, the southern one, having the possible emblem of the Hussars embossed on it, and the northern one, the possibility that of the St. John's Cross. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.